Load error initially, the actor, now 59, underwent hormone therapy treatment which he said worked amazingly for about a year and allowed him to continue normal life. That's why he never spoke about his diagnosis publicly. All I had to do was take a pill in the morning and the night and boom, life was pretty much normal, he recalled. I was feeling fine, honestly. I had no symptoms, I didn't feel any symptoms. And it was very easy to regulate. Then, at the onset of the pandemic, he missed an appointment for a test, which was not a good thing, he explained. He began to experience complications and later found out that the cancer had mutated and spread to his spine, causing paralysis in his lower body. That's why, when the currently, Tyler is undergoing chemotherapy to aggressively treat the cancer, but he truly believes that his new role in life is to raise awareness and advocate for men to get early PSA screenings. There are other options available to men if they catch it before me, he stressed. Next time you go in for just a basic exam or your yearly checkup, please ask your doctor for a PSA test. It's easily detectable. If it spreads beyond the prostate to the bones, which is most prevalent in my form, it can be a lot more difficult to deal with. A lot of men, if they catch this early, it's easily treatable, Tyler urged. I don't want people to have to go through what I've been going through. This is not an easy process. But thanks to a good sense of humor and lots of support, he remains optimistic and filled with gratitude. It's made me, personally, just realize how important every moment is, every day, he explained. And fighting. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Keep yourself as light as possible. And have goals. Set goals. My goal this past year was to see my 59th birthday. I did that, May 28th. My goal now is to help save at least one life by coming out with this news.